Hello everyone, welcome to Calabria. So I'm in Tropea, Tropea being one of the most beautiful cities in the Calabria region, uh, which is in South Italy, very, very close to Sicily. I spent five hours on the train. I took the train from Salerno, which is close to Naples. And here I am. So I will take you guys with me. I'm gonna spend three days in Tropea. The weather is like so-so. It should be sunny tomorrow and hopefully I will take you guys to the beach with me as well. Anyway, I hope you will enjoy this vlog and let me know if you have any kind of questions and if you've ever been to Calabria because I know especially Tropea is one of the hidden gems in Italy. So I'm curious how many people have heard of it. See you later. expecting to be sunny but it was quite chilly so I stayed inside most of the time and I ate a lot with everything with red onion because in Tropea in Calabria red onion is like a theme it's like a symbol it's, everything has red onion flavors which I found so funny and so nice I love onions and garlic yeah uh, so yeah, yesterday I ate a lot, I was inside, so it wasn't much to show you guys, but today I'm gonna take you with me to the beach, it looks sunny and hopefully I'll make you fall in love with it. Guys, in Tropea this weekend there is a festival called Festival de la Cipolla Rosa which means the festival of the red onion and I will try to take a sneak peek of that for you I've seen in Italy and it's just the end of April 
and they are just 20 degrees or something like that but you can easily get a tan and relax on the beach and there are just few people that's the good thing about it like if you visit off season it's amazing because the sun is not very very strong so you're not getting sunburn of course you need protection but it's not like in june july or august when you have lots of chances to get the sunburn so it's beautiful and it's very very warm and quiet so amazing if you ask me most of the Italian streets but so beautiful I just love all the history and their culture like I never been to Calabria it's the first time and I know Tropea is one of the most beautiful places it's so small though there are only 6,000 people living here but it's very very rich in culture and they have amazing amazing local products and very beautiful places and the sea oh my god Beautiful cafes in Tropea, Cafe de Paris. Look how beautiful it looks. And I think it's exactly in Centro Historico. Good morning everyone, how are you all doing? So today is Sunday, 1st of May. I think it's the official first day of summer. I don't know, it's summer here in south of Italy. And the weather is just perfect, there are 20 degrees. Not too hot, not cold, just warm. And I will take you guys with me around. So this day is my last day in Tropea. Calabria and so far I'm just loving this place it's so beautiful it's so rich in culture and history and the food and the red onions amazing I hope you like it and let me know in the comments if you have any kind of questions so see you later okay, so these are the views from Santa Maria Santuario
I'm happy guys because I got some red onion from Tropea. My mom will be so happy about this onion. Guys, I'm gonna end my Tropea vlog here. I hope that you like the places that I've shown you. I fell in love with this small town in Calabria and I will definitely be back 100%. I love the beach, I love the old town, the streets, the food, like the vibes, everything about it. It's amazing. And if you watch until here, thank you for watching and subscribe for more travel content if you like the videos. And take care. See you later.